Hey guys, Ike right over here and uh, I'm just uh, recording a short video for you guys to hopefully encourage you. By the way, we are currently in a different house right now. Uh, please pray for my sister. Um, she's uh, doing uh, quarantine right now so we had to move out from our usual house <laughs> and uh, we're staying with the family. So uh, it's, it, this, this virus is really... Uh, this pandemic is really uh, uh, challenging for a lot of us because it is actually um, displacing some of us um, in the sense of like for us uh, specifically for our family physically like uh, we are physically displaced from where we are used to and we can't really um, hang out with each other specifically my sister because number one she's doing quarantine I do apologize for the truck sounds. Uh, wanted to get a different view for the video. And also, if you're watching, at least you kind of remember what it sounds like to be outside of your house. Which, if you have been inside your house for the entire duration of the quarantine, I mean, I salute you. I cannot just do that. So maybe, you know, just out here, a little bit of a garden. So that's, that's pretty neat. So um, something that has been trending is this talk about a group of people who are complaining that the uh, the relief goods that the government has been giving them is not enough like um, a certain amount is not enough uh, the goods that uh, the government is giving out is not enough and there are those people who are, who are you know uh, against that thought that it's not enough and we have to make do and per, if you ask me personally I'm I'm on the other side like we have to make do um, now is not the time to be luxurious now is not the time to have a lot we need to have enough and we need to make that enough last specifically um, but more than what is enough I believe that this is also a time where God is calling us to really, I'd say want to have what really matters. More than what's enough for our daily needs, God wants us to have what we need for eternity. Um, in John chapter 4, it's, it's a very beautiful chapter and I would recommend you read the entire chapter, guys. But... Uh, it starts, this particular um, chapter starts after um, the disciples are baptizing people and Jesus goes out to town, goes to a well, and he's thirsty, okay? And he meets this Samaritan woman. Now, I won't go super deep into it, but it was unusual because Jesus was a Jew, and Jews do not usually talk with Samaritans. It was very culturally uh, weird, but revolutionary for Christ to talk to a Samaritan woman very casually. And he was asking water from the Samaritan woman in the well. And a conversation goes on, but I want to focus on this. That uh, when Jesus asked her... Uh, give me a drink um the woman the samaritan woman in verse 9 john chapter 4 verse 9 says the samaritan woman said to him how is it that you a jew ask for a drink from me a woman of samaria for jews have no dealings with samaritans jesus answered her if you knew the gift of god and who it is saying to you give me a drink you would have asked him and he would have given you living water wow so we see here that there is this contrast between what's Im an immediate physical need and what is really greater. Um, I hope that a lot of us in this time of the pandemic, when not a lot of us can have a lot, not a lot of us can have enough, and a whole lot of us, well, we, we barely have anything at all. I hope that we would remember that, number one, um, God cares for our needs and He can provide. How do I know this? Because this well, as the woman would say here, um, 
the woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? Uh, he gave us the well and drank from it himself, as his did his as did his sons and his livestock. So, um, if you don't know who Jacob is, basically he's the guy who wrestled with God and um, lived to tell about it, and his name got changed. And and basically, this this well was provided for by God. Uh, it was dug up, of course, by by human hands. But we all know that everything, all creation, belongs to God, and God has given us uh, the immediate physical needs that we have. And we can go on and on 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 words on verses that talk about God's provision. My personal favorite is uh, basically, you know, um, the birds of the air. Not a single one of them goes hungry. Um, but if they should go hungry, God has a, a complete sound, maybe we don't know it, uh, purpose for all of that. But uh, you can trust that God is in control and that God uh, will provide. Okay. Um, but more than our physical and temporal needs, God himself gives us what we really need. An eternal provision. And he said, he go, Jesus goes on to say, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. And that's true. You drink a, a cup of water and you'll be thirsty after what? How many, a few more hours after a few minutes, you'll be thirsty again. And that, it's because it's temporal. It will never last. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life and i'll end with that part but go go ahead i encourage you guys to read the entire chapter um we can see here that jesus is dealing with something much more deeper than our immediate needs he's dealing with our hearts he's dealing with our lives and he's dealing with eternity guys i hope that in this time in this season of the the pandemic that we would we would look beyond the temporary we would look beyond our immediate needs whether we have enough whether we don't have enough or whatever and we would look forward toward what towards what really matters and that is eternity okay this life is temporary this this covid-19 is temporary cancer is temporary diabetes is temporary asthma is temporary wars plagues this world is temporary don't fix your eyes too much on on what what's over here because it would all fade away but the tempor the temporal or uh well you know it is what it is but we have eternity ahead of us we have eternity you look up there's a there's a blue sky up there a lot of us can't even physically reach that there's something way bigger than all of us and guess what god provides that too so if ever you feel like you're lacking call out to god but I hope that you would be ready that the answer is not something that would just fix your or gratify your uh, temporal needs. Again, God cares for that and He will provide. Trust me, I know this. <laughs> I've experienced it. But more than the temporal, there is eternity. Eternity of not self-gratification, but rather an eternity with Him. An eternity with God, our Father. I hope this encourages you guys and whether you have received your uh, rations, your provisions from the government to be able to get through this season or not, I hope that more than uh, complaining, uh, we would just really get down on our knees, humble ourselves and pray for provision. We can ask God for provision and thank Him for whatever He gives. Remember, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. May his name be praised forever. Thank you for watching. Hope you're encouraged. God bless.